On this Monday, July 9th, I'm your host, Cash Show Bo. Thank you, one and all, for tuning in to our final show of the Even In. Now, for those of you that watched our earlier show, we saw where Comfort Cat jumped into some of the lighting equipment here on accident, but still very bad kitty, I will say. Uh, oh, sorry, there's video of that. No, well, I don't think that we should um, play the video, but Comfort You on that uh, very Oh, we are going to play it. Wishing you an extra life to stay alive. Sorry, kitty. Oh, thank you very much for posting that, Megan Day. Well, that's embarrassing. Uh, perhaps jump is a liberal term. I may have assisted. Uh, we're good, though, kitty, right? Okay, there you are. She'll get over it. Okay, now, moving on. Derek Young tweets that he thought he had wasted 97 minutes of his life watching Going Overboard, but Derek redeemed himself last show and won. Thanks to his knowledge, winning the cash show. I love it. Now we've got happy third anniversary to Curtis Gillentine and his fiance Sarah. Then Cindy Price Norman shouts out to her mom in Hazen, Arkansas, Sue Price, and her sister Amanda Price in Orange, Texas. They never miss our show. And finally, Jamal Stevens tweets, can't wait to play cash show with my mom and Sean, aka Puffy. Lol. I like it. Hey, are you new? Check out our FAQ page for all things cash show on how to play, how to link your PayPal account. I even wrote some of it myself. All right, that's it. That's all, y'all. On with the show. And away we go. <laughs> Question number one. Let's have some fun. How many inches equal half a foot? Six, seven, or eight? Going way back when, body parts have been used in many measurement systems. The Romans had the cubit, meaning elbow, for some reason. And the Egyptian system included units like fingers, palms, hands, fists, feet, and shoulders. Apparently, the majority of the world uses something called the metric system, but we're looking for six in this answer. Now, in Greece and Rome, the foot would vary by region, even from city to city, from about 10 and a half to almost 14 in inches. The Egyptian foot, however, was almost exactly 12 inches. They were truly ahead of their time, an Egyptian head. Question two, coming at you. The country of Japan has been given what nickname? The land of the blue sky, the land of the green hill, the land of the rising sun. Now, before the renaming, Japan was referred to as Wa. This name was all fine and dandy until the Chinese got a hold of it and assigned the Wa character to the one that referred to their stature. Japanese didn't like that very much, so they changed it to Nippon, or the land of the rising sun. That's right, Japan, or Nippon, is literally origin of the sun, often translated in English as land of the rising sun, due to its eastern position from China. All right, that's the meaning behind their flag. Question three. Which of these countries has the highest percentage of people with red hair compared to the others? Ireland, Spain, or Poland? This is pretty cool. In 1997, the cause of red hair was found to be a mutation in the gene called MC1R. In 2009, a study found that this same mutation often correlates with increased fear of visiting the what? Dentist? It's true! Ireland is our answer for this. Occurring in only 1-2% to of the world's population, red is the rarest hair color, though the U.S. has the largest number of redheads. 10% of Irish people have red hair. Business must be slow for Irish dentists. 
Question four, give me some more. How many legs do insects have? Four, six, or eight? Now, there are around 2 million to 30 million species of insects, which is kind of another way of saying we have no idea. <laughs> the population is estimated to be 10 quintillion. That is 10 with 18 zeros. And how many are there? The legs? Six. Now, common misconception. Spiders, ticks, mites, scorpions, and the like are arachnids not insects. How? Their inability to chew, to fly, they lack antenna, and they have two versus three body segments, so keep it cool in the comments section, okay? Question five, staying alive. If a volcano is neither active nor extinct, what is it called? Dead, dormant, or sleeping? All three of these I do at night after a long one. A volcano is considered active if it erupted in the past ten years thousand years. Geologically speaking, that's just around the corner. And we're looking for dormant in this answer. Now, this comes from the Latin for sleeping. A dormant volcano is an active volcano that isn't erupting, but is expected to eventually. All right, now on to our prize questions. Now, would you like a shout out, birthday, you got an anniversary, fun story you want to share? Do you just want to follow me on Twitter? That's cool. Use this to add me on Twitter. And please use the hashtag CS shoutout so that we can find the shout out you would like to have us on the show. Also, you can follow me and my daily antics on Instagram at host Bo Danner. Let's move on to question six worth $150. The question is, what does the R stand for in the phrase QR code? Response, result, or reaction? The first QR codes were used way back in 1994 by Japanese car parts company Denso to track vehicles during manufacturing. The answer we're looking for? Response. Now in 2008, another Japanese company started selling tombstones with quick response codes on them. Scanning the code gives you photographs and stories of the deceased. I think that's very nice. Question seven is worth $150 again. Question seven is who was Conan O'Brien's first sidekick on Late Night? Was it Fred Armisen, Ed McMahon, or Andy Richter? Are you kidding me? That's how you spell Ed McMahon? Mind blown right now. Now, Conan O'Brien has been on television pretty much nonstop since 1993 and pretty much since day one. He's had his pal, Andy Richter, with him. Though Richter was hired as a writer, he became Conan's sidekick when the show debuted in 93. He left the show in 2000, but returned as an announcer with Conan on The Tonight Show in 2009. Welcome back, buddy. All right, question eight is worth $150 again. Question eight is, U.S. lottery winnings must be reported to the IRS if they reach what dollar value? 100, 600, or 1,000 smackaroos. Last year, they recorded the record U.S.
False Kiss A magazine. Question 11. A famous uh, Claude Monet painting series features which type of cereal grain? Wheat, rice, or rye? Now, Monet is also famous for his paintings of lilies, which he imported to his French home from as far as South America, but these particular paintings contained wheat. Now, these paintings of the lilies almost never came to be, as his city council tried to get him to remove the lilies, fearing that they would poison the water and kill their cattle. Now, remember, we're live again tomorrow evening, and join us again. Raftastic will be back hosting you to victory, but without further ado, now on to our last and final round. We have 1,165 cash kids still in it to win it, 16,000, nearly 17,000. Watching the spectacle that is the cash show, this question is worth $1,634. Question 12 is, Tara Lipinski won a figure skating gold medal at which Olympics location? Nagano, Salt Lake City, or Turin? After winning the 1997 World Championship, the American figure skater would go on to win gold at the 1998 Olympics in Nagano, Japan. And we have got 709 cash kids that are taking home cash show gold tonight. You don't even have to be 5'1 of triple axle muscle to compete. Let's check out our prize distribution list. You guys look at this. I've got a couple of uh, shout outs here. Tam2935 says, love this game. And then Game Prince says, dang. He speaks Chinese? That's probably exactly what he sounds like. And then Robin, 7907, Orange Coast in the house. Welcome playing with us, everybody. We've got our prize distribution list, and now our winner's circle, 709 cash kids, all taking home $2.93 here on the cash show tonight. Well done, everyone. Thank you for coming and having some fun. Stay with us tomorrow, same times here on the cash show. Raftastic will be back hosting you. And thank you all. This is Cash Show Bo, as always, signing off, saying be nice to someone today. Ciao for now.